What up, guys? All right, I'm gonna use this to explain something to do with getting huge triceps. Just bear with me for a couple minutes. Whenever I'm shown a JM press variation, people always have a lot of questions for me is why is it okay for elbows to flare on this and not have to stay tucked? Whereas anytime I say we're doing a skull crusher, I say you gotta have that upper arm kind of tucked in and that upper arm has to be perpendicular to the ground. And it's because when you're moving and using your shoulder joint like here, because obviously if you're doing a skull crush, it's isolation at the elbow. When you're using your shoulder joint, it can allow you to go through different positions of abduction, adduction, and still have that elbow joint lined up perpendicular to the ground. And so again, the elbow is a hinge joint. Basically the elbow joint is sitting kind of like that if you imagine the hinge like a door. So we want force going straight perpendicular through that. So again, as long as we're using gravity, that's obviously the only way it goes with the Smith. So I wanna demonstrate the plane of motion staying perpendicular through that. So I've had this idea for a while where I think a fan is sometimes an easy way to demonstrate a plane of motion. Because again, when I'm saying plane, I'm having somebody envision something and some people can visualize it and some people can't. So if Terrence is doing a JM press, so hopefully everyone has seen the video of us, we'll stick it in right here. But so when someone's doing a JM press, you know, you'll see sometimes I'm doing them like this. Terrence is a little bit more out here, but basically it's this combination of an elbowy shouldery type thing. Now again, how can elbows be here and how can they be here and still all be joint friendly? Well, I'm glad you asked. As he goes through this plane of motion, so again, if we're looking at his upper arm and his lower arm kind of moving together, hopefully you guys can more easily see this plane is perpendicular to the ground. Does that make sense? So hopefully everyone sees this is just our actual visualization of a plane. Now, whether he's all the way up here, hopefully you can still see that that plane is perpendicular to the ground. If he's here, that plane is perpendicular to the ground. If he's tucked in here, the plane is still perpendicular to the ground, all elbow friendly options. If he's doing a skull crusher and like Terrence, his elbows have to stick out here and he's got a little baby handle stuck in here, he's trying to pronate here, your only option is again to be moving in this kind of plane here and also having your shoulder joint sometimes move along the way as well too. But hopefully you can see that this plane of motion tilted like this does not line up perpendicular with the ground. So that's the whole point of this video. Hopefully you can see, even if we have different amounts of abduction, adduction with my pretty little fan, you can see that it still lines up the plane of motion perpendicular to the ground, matching the direction of the load. Again, whenever we're using gravity, lining up well with the elbow joint. Hopefully that makes sense. And uh, 